We're here with MSA Center Stage with center fielder Jake Eggett of the WPIL champion, Sarah Catholic Eagles. First off, talk about that uh, play in center field on Tommy Bellis ball. Long fly ball, went all out for it, left a mark on you. Uh, I know you're disappointed you didn't catch it though, obviously. Yeah. Um, we were shifting left for Tommy Pellis. You guys in the two previous meetings, he was hitting a lot to the left side. So I was shaning that way very deep, but he, he was just able to piece one into the right center depth. And I went, I was running over, I felt like I got a good break on it, and I full extension, but it just was a little bit out of my reach. It hit off the tip, and I got up, and I thought maybe I'd be able to hold him at third, but he was already rounding third by the time I got the ball. And at that point, we wanted to strike first, and the fact that they got up one nothing on us, and we weren't, we didn't have any momentum at the plate, that uh, that like that set kind of a move where I, we, we didn't want to be in that situation. We knew we didn't want to be in that situation, but we were able to respond off of it, and uh, it almost gave us light, saying like, wow, like we were like, it's time to play. And I, and I, I honestly, in the long run, I think it helped us, but it was just, we were able to respond, and that's all on my teammates. And I think you really jump-started that in the next inning on a pop foul behind home plate. You take second base, uh, tagging up after a ball caught by the catcher, something you don't see every day. Uh, you mentioned before you like you thought that you could run on on the guy. I think that play jump started. Talk us through that whole scenario. Yeah, um, we have a cage backstop, so we don't really have any opportunities to um, to see like catchers catch the ball. But, but I knew he was catching right along the fence. He was either going to be out or right along. So I stayed on the bag, and as soon as he caught it, we knew we could run on him. And at that point, I just went all out and. Um, and I'm, I'm lead off for a reason, I guess, because I was, I was just able to get there. I used my smarts, and I was able to get there. And and that put me on second. And then I, next pitch, or maybe the second pitch after that, then the team was able to hit one in the right and uh, tie it up, and I scored on that. And from there, we just kept rolling and rolling. Jason came up with a big RBI triple to uh, get us up, I think, 3-1 or 4-1. And at that point, we just kept rolling. Well, and a smart team all around. Uh, you know, stealing bases here left and right, getting an infield hit with yours later in the game that a courtesy runner or a pinch runner ends up scoring on. Is that something you guys preach, just being baseball smart and being speedy on the pass? Yeah, I think we set a team record for steals this year, and our, our motto is get on and run. I mean, you saw, I think we had one or two gets thrown out, but we're going to take those chances because we know the name of the game is to advance runners no matter how. From the bunts, from the stealing, and we have, we have designed plays where we'll give up an out to score a run because we know you've got to have runners in scoring position to score. So Anthony was able to come through, use his smarts. He did the same thing last uh, game against Vincentian in the semifinals. He uh, stole home on a pass ball that wasn't very far, but he, he got a good break on it. And he, he rounded third, and he just thought he could get it. And we, we have full range for Coach uh, Brenda to, to, to go if we think we can get there. Uh, the smart team, the smart man, valedictorian here of Sarah Catholic. Mr. Jake Eddy, congratulations on Thank the Whitfield so title, and good luck in the state. Thank you. MSA Center Stage, we'll be back with more.